Hello everybody, nice my name is Ever the Justice, yeah, yeah, and today I'm going to be telling you about five of the coolest work in progress mods on PS4. Let's get right into it, because I hate long intros. You lead, I'll follow. The first mod is called House on the River, and this is a home mod, a player home mod that you can find in Riverwood. Living in Riverwood has always been like a really nice, nice thought. It's right next to the sawmill, so you can get some lumber if you need, and the, the little wood shopping block and the campfire back there is a nice touch as well. Alright, so we're just gonna go take a look inside. This mod is absolutely awesome, it gives like a, a, a homey type of vibe. Nothing too like huge and nothing too like over, over like bearing. This mod also has a basement with all of the available crafting stations, so you're able to build and create and enchant pretty much anything you need. And not only that, you have some storage cabinets as well to store all of your like greatness, great stuff that you've created. The carpet is a nice touch as well. This mod is absolutely awesome so far, and it being in the work in progress section, like this is, it feels kind of criminal. Because it's so well done, it looks really nice, it merges in with the floor well, it doesn't look like it's out of place, and it just fits the Riverwood vibe. It really is an amazing home mod to start with, especially if you just love Riverwood and like being in the, the small town environment. I do know a lot of people who love Riverwood, myself included, and I've always looked for good mods for Riverwood and there's not that many around. This is going to definitely be one of the the coolest PS4 mods that I have actually reviewed in in the town of Riverwood. The next mod is called Alternative Dragon Death Animation. What this mod is going to do is it's going to allow Alduin's death to happen to other dragons. He had a specific and a really unique dragon animation, but it's only like a 50% chance that it'll actually happen, but this one you'll be able to see it a lot more with this mod installed. Can you come down here, please? No. Would you mind coming down? Thank you. Damn! Oh, I forgot I had that mod installed. <laughs> No, come back down here. Stop trying to run away. And there it is. Nice. Definitely one of the coolest mods on the work in progress section. It is definitely a good mod if you like to go dragon hunting. So, definitely give this mod a shot. The next mod is called Economic Spell Tombs, and this mod is going to make the spells like more realistic price wise. Same thing with weapons as well. Low tier weapons and low tier spells are only going to cost around 25 to 60 gold in total, whereas the prices will go up depending on how high ranking the material or the spell is. So, so for example, it's got a chart right here where it says Iron Sword is 25, Steel Sword is 45, Orcus Sword is 75, Dwarven Sword is 135, Elven 235. Which, as the spells, it says the novice spells are 50. Apprentice spells are 90, Adept spells are 150, 270, 470, you get the point. The reason that this mod is in the work in progress section is because he wants to wait until he figures out how to make patches for this mod to make it compatible with other mods that alter spell tombs. But, 
if you only have mods that alter like what the spell actually does and adds spell tunes this mod will not affect those whatsoever just make sure that this is the only price changing mod that you have installed that way that this that way this mod won't like you know cause any issues with your mods in general this will make the prices a lot more affordable for people who actually grind on this game and just don't have enough money to get by when it comes to spells because we all know how expensive some spells can be and we all know how expensive some random objects that are useless in the long run but we just need at the moment can be as well. Of course excluding master spells and expert spells I don't see any reason why we would need to pay so much money for a novice spell tomb or just a normal book. So definitely give this mod a shot, it is absolutely worth it if you don't want to spend too much money on books or weapons. Here's an example by the way, the Scrolls of Courage and like all the littles, like the normal ones, cost around like 50, there's like a calm spell and a calm uh, spell book as well. But if you go to things that are really really higher up, like this one and this one, the prices vary quite a lot. So this one is only 52 gold, this one is 103 gold, and this one is 517 gold. So it really does put into perspective on what is powerful and what is not as well. And some of the price it makes the prices a lot more accurate towards what you would actually be using them for. So definitely give this mod a shot because like it's definitely good for fixing uh, the prices. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> yes? You know, sometimes I question where I went wrong with my life. <laughs> the next mod is called WOS Add-On Recycled World. And what this mod is going to do is it's going to make every NPC respawn faster. So bandits, dragons, um, dragon priests and all of them are going to respawn that way you can actually use the dungeon again and you can go through it again if you really like a specific dungeon you can do it again another good thing about this mod is the fact that it actually has weapons that respawn faster as well and they stay attached to the corpses making them easier to loot and that's really all there is to it it's nothing really huge not like a huge overhaul it just makes them respawn a little bit faster and that's it there's nothing really much else to it it's a really simple mod and it seems to just really focus on the gameplay aspect of things just like making it so they like respawn faster so you could go into the world and you could just go to the same dungeon every single time if you really like it that much and you don't have to wait like a week in real time for it to actually respawn Timescale has also not been altered as well. And make sure it says right here, below NPC AI mods like realistic combat AI, but above encounter zone mods like arena or anything else along those lines. He also has a Discord server link right here, and if you want to join and ask him more questions about the mod, you can. So definitely give this mod a shot. I think it's pretty cool and it's very clever. The final mod was actually removed from the work in progress section recently. But the last mod is called Spectral Dragon Follower, and you can find him in Rorikstead. All you need to do is simply walk up to him and say that you need his help. But I want to see what this guy is capable of, so we're going to tell him to attack him. Who is that? Bro, I'm trying to do a test here. Can you not... All right, you come over here. You attack this guy. There he goes. He does fire damage and he also does a little bit of ice damage as well. But yeah, overall, like, it's a really cool and it's a really great looking mod as well. Like, I mean, this looks dope. Although this follower doesn't actually do that much damage, I think he only does a base damage of 40, he is actually essential, so he won't die and he won't just disappear. Overall, very, very solid mod. 
just recently came out of the work in progress section. But, I mean, just take a look, man. Look at that. He just looks dope. I highly recommend anybody who likes pet followers to download this mod, especially if they really like Ice Wraiths or just Dragons. He's definitely a really, really cool mod. I'm not even going to lie. It would be cooler, though, if this guy could stop blowing everything up. Stop it. My lord. Anyways, definitely give that mod a shot. It's... Jesus, you got fucked up. Anyways, give this mod a shot. It is absolutely awesome. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, yo. Mm.